What's up you guys, it's Ness, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to become a better photographer by Ness. Cue intro. So when it comes down to becoming a better photographer, it doesn't come down to the equipment and it doesn't come down to the models. Simply put, what it comes down to is your eye. Super simple, right? Your eye, that's it. Now I know this sounds so minuscule on the whole scale of things when it comes to becoming a better photographer, but trust me, the things that you're visually consuming as a photographer, as a creative in general, ultimately determines how you see things as a photographer. I know you've probably heard the phrase, your mind is a garden. Well, in the same sense, your eyes are a garden too. You feel what I'm saying? You have to feed them the proper sunlight and nutrients and everything else that it needs to grow. Now, when it comes to feeding your eyes, I don't mean just scrolling on Instagram and just following people that you're inspired by. I mean, as a creative and somebody that wants to be taken seriously as a professional, you should be seeking the knowledge that you wish to acquire. So whether it's food, whether it's landscape, whether it's beauty photography, no matter what it is, you should be seeking that out. We have Google, we have Pinterest, we have all these different platforms where you can just search and really cater to your mind and what you want to see not your mind your eyes because that's what we're talking about right your eyes personally i watch a lot of anime now the animes may vary and have different art styles some anime might be more light and cheeky like pokemon shout out to my pokeball right here we won't discuss what it's for but you know what i'm saying it's that pokeball you know what i'm saying another anime that i've watched that has a dark tone and art style is death note now both animes have different lighting techniques coloring techniques and etc 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 two completely different art styles pokemon is more lighthearted, fun and cheeky and death note is more dark and sinister and you know what i'm saying there's a there's a lot going on there you know what i'm saying those who know know but my point is by looking at those two different art styles you can see a lot of color difference and what that does is it helps me as a creative and as a photographer to see colors a little bit differently than others. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how you become a better photographer, man. You just got to train your eye. Your eye is more important than anything. Well, the camera is too, but not so much the specs of the camera, but just like having a camera to shoot along with your eye. But nonetheless, that is one small major thing on a list of things to become a better photographer. Before I end this video, I just had to show you guys a quick comparison of some of my old work and how I shoot now and just show you guys how I I've developed as a photographer and how I become a better photographer over time. So here's an image that I shot a long time ago. For starters, the retouching was terrible, the color grading is terrible, and just it just doesn't really flow for me at this point in my career now. Now, if we compare that photo to how I shoot now, you'll see a big difference in my retouching, you'll see a big difference in my coloring, you'll just see a big difference overall. And this is from just me just training my eye and me just taking the time to invest in my craft and just put in that time. But with that being said, I hope this video helped you in some type of way. I hope you took something from it. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be part of the notification squad. Whole lot of gang shit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been Ness from Finesse and Shots. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.